Uh, okay, so the session today is a gentle introduction to deep learning. And uh, why a gentle introduction to deep learning? Well, it is really, uh, I'm a developer and I found it hard to uh, understand the language that data scientists are speaking, that AI experts are speaking. And I found that it was possibly uh, and probably interesting for people to have a, a kind of gentle intro and especially for developers. So I'm a developer, I'm not a data scientist. And, uh, and so it's bringing you this message <clears throat> maybe from a, a slightly uh, different uh, point of view. So, you know, AI has kind of a weird uh, reputation in the public, in our subconscious. And of course, for people like me who are born in the, in the 70s or, uh, you know, the, 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 the people who are a little bit younger than me in the 80s, we have all those 80s movies in mind. And for example, this one, I don't know if you recognize it. This is War Games, of course. Uh, War Games actually uh, got old in, in a nice way. I mean, I rewatched it the other day and it was actually pretty fun to watch. Um, of course, it's, uh, you know, a good reminder of uh, when we had to use modems and all that. It, it's kind of fun. But uh, most importantly, the, the computer here um, almost killed everybody on Earth because it misunderstood what was going on. And so, uh, you know, there was uh, the computer saw that it was playing a game and uh, actually, you know, it was uh, simulating a war and then not so much simulating anymore at the end. Um, and then we have even older than that, we have HAL, uh, you know, 2001 Space Odyssey. And HAL was probably the first representation uh, of a, a sentient computer, of an intelligent computer in, in a serious movie. So the, uh, the the novel by Arthur C. Clarke, fantastic novel, and then the film by Stanley Kubrick, absolutely amazing film. And how killed people because it has some kind of a moral conflict. So already here, we see some images of what happens when uh, a computer is allowed to think, okay, and, and is allowed to do things in an independent manner. And then, of course, we have the Terminator, and here there is no moral conflict at all. It just goes and kills everyone uh, way easier. But basically, it kind of impressed this weird image of AI on our subconscious. And even worse, uh, if you check today in the marketing department, they are actually using AI in that case to sell rice cookers because apparently you need artificial intelligence to sell, uh, to cook rice. And uh, I guess it's an argument to sell more. Of course, it doesn't make any sense, but it's interesting to see that people really don't understand AI well. So before we go on, I want to manage expectations about this session. First of all, we only have 60 minutes, all right? Um, and uh, if you check online introductions to AI, introduction to deep learning, very often those are multiple hours, sometimes even multiple days of courses. And so here we have 60 minutes and I have 63 slides. So fasten your seat belt. Uh, it's going to go fast, but don't worry, I'm going to still take time to explain. Most of the slides go very fast and then some of them will spend a little bit more time on that. Um, even more important expectation to manage, I'm not a data scientist. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I learned the hard way uh, checking courses, but I work with amazing people like Amy, uh, who is doing the moderation, or Cesc Juarez, uh, who are absolutely fantastic with AI, and they absolutely helped me to prepare this session uh, and to understand how it works. And then we'll see a demo that Cesc also uh, provided for me and that he explained to me, and that's, uh, that's really helpful. So thank you to the people 